Hello, Bell's Palsy here. Today is something um, that is, uh, I think, needing a refresher for most people suffering from facial paralysis. And it is really important to understand. Um, first of all, when people mention, when should I start or when should I exercise my face? And my answer to this is uh, never, you should never exercise your face. Um, exercise is not a, a word I like to use for the face because the facial muscles behave and are very uh, physiologically different than the rest of the muscle in our body. If you think about it, like the muscles of your face are actually just moving skin. They are not moving a joint, they are not moving a bone, uh, they are just moving skin to show emotions. And um, that does not require a ton of strength. Uh, it, it requires coordination and control from all of these muscles working together to create a specific emotion. Um, and this is very important to understand because you're not trying to get your face stronger. You're trying to um, you're trying to regain movement, and you can only regain movement when you have a nerve signal going to that muscle. So until you're starting to see movement, there is absolutely no point in trying to move your face and making faces. It's like trying to watch TV if this TV is not plugged into the wall. There is actually no electricity going from the wall to the TV in the case of facial paralysis from a no electrical signal, uh, action potential, as we call it, uh, going from the going from the brain, your brain and through the nerve and into the muscle. So uh, do not, uh, I, I should actually ban the term exercise for, for face because I don't think, I don't think that's a great thing. And I don't think, I think people get, uh, get this misconception that they should be forcing their face and the more they do, the stronger it's gonna get. Uh, like with other muscles that you would be really needing to really overload in order to regain strength. Um, completely different ball game with the face. So uh, I just wanted to make that little precision for people that might be new to this or don't know yet, but do not exercise your face. Do not try to make movement until you do have some movement. During that time, uh, when you don't have movement, you want to take it easy, uh, gently massage, straight your face uh, in a gentle kind of way, uh, working on making sure that your stronger side does not get tighter because that's generally the case since it's the only side that's working. So these muscles get tighter and then this is why you end up with your mouth, for example, very often going in this position at rest. So that means if this is my non-involved side, my strong side and my paralyzed side, that would mean that this needs to be stretched. And this is where I would spend most of the time, just gently massaging also both sides to kind of remind your brain that there is still some, some muscle and things attached there. Um, and this will whole help kind of do a prep work um, for once you are out of the flaccid paralysis stage, which is when you don't have any movement and when you start getting movement back, which we call the paresis stage. So I hope uh, that was helpful. Uh, have a good rest of the week. Take care.